DC has its darker elements, but you know what? So does Marvel, and they're damn good at the dark stuff too. For every creepy villain that exists in the DC universe, Marvel has just as many, ranging from cosmic horrors from beyond the stars to ordinary people who just really enjoy being evil, and quite a few you probably haven't heard of. I'm Ewan, you're watching World Culture Comics, and here are 10 messed up Marvel villains you won't believe exist. Number 10. Demo Goblin. When it comes to Spider-Man and villains of the Goblin variety, Old Webhead has it up to his ears. There's the original Green Goblin, the alter ego of Norman Osborn, the second Green Goblin, who is Spidey's best friend, Harry Osborn, goodness knows how many Hobgoblins, a lot, and then this guy, the Demo Goblin, who chances are most Spidey fans aren't even aware exists. The Demo Goblin was introduced in 1992's Web of Spider-Man number 86 and was a demon who inhabited the body of the previous Hobgoblin, Jason Masondale. He bears all the hallmarks of a 90s era Marvel villain both in look and in backstory, and while he probably sounds like a bit of a spawn reject, there is something undeniably freaky about a goblin with a supernatural dimension. Demo Goblin differed from the other goblins skills-wise too. He had demonic powers, a magical glider, and all other sorts of supernatural abilities. Plus, he looked creepy, as 90s as his design may have been. Number 9. Styx, with an X. So, there are actually two characters called Styx in the Marvel Universe, one who was a homeless person called Jacob Eichhorn, who gets turned into a living cancer whose only source of pleasure is killing other beings, and the other being a personality of Legion, aka David Haller. Both fit the bill here though, because they both boast genuinely creepy designs and have committed equally awful acts in the years since their respective debuts. Icorn Styx, pictured here, became a terrifying mercenary following a pharmaceutical trial gone wrong. Whereas the drug was intended to cure cancer, it ends up creating a monster whose touch renders all organic matter withered and dead within minutes. He's all kinds of messed up, even if he himself was a victim too. Then there's Legion Styx. One of David's many personalities, Styx separated from Legion's physical form in the wake of Fortress X, and boasts a design that quite honestly could have been right at home in the pages of Vertigo Sandman comics. Styx looks desiccated, has razor-sharp claws, and can absorb the souls of his enemies. Throw all of that on top of Legion's base powers, and you're left with one of the X-Men's most terrifying, albeit temporary, adversaries. Number 8. Madcap Although originally a Captain America villain, Madcap is today most synonymous with Marvel's Deadpool. The character was created after being subjected to an experimental formula developed by AIM, which meant Madcap was impervious to any and all harm, something he really struggled to reconcile with, as the original accident that led to him developing said powers also resulted in the deaths of his immediate family. Madcap, understandably, went a bit loopy afterwards, deciding to torment the citizens of New York and putting many in harm's way. After after years spent appearing on and off in various comics, he re-emerged during the events of Secret Invasion and tried to drive Wade Wilson insane, or more insane, it's difficult to tell. Madcap then gets absorbed into Wade's own consciousness after they regenerate together, before getting split apart at a later date. But what's so unsettling about Madcap? His bloodlust for innocence isn't exactly exceptional as far as comics are concerned, after all, and Deadpool's not exactly a moral bastion either, but it's how he returns after one encounter that makes him truly creepy. After disintegrating himself with a Shatari weapon, Madcap regenerates inside the body of Deadpool's ally Bob, emerging as a talking tumour who could control its host. It's a pretty gnarly visual, and one fans probably don't want reminding of, so uh, sorry about that. Number 7. Mad Jim Jaspers There are lots of things that make Jim Jaspers a terrifying force. His creepy moustache, his anti-mutant agenda, the fact he was a UK Prime Minister in the Marvel Universe, all of them go some way in intimating the sheer cosmic horror on display with the character, who boasts reality-warping powers and has faced off with the likes of Captain Britain and the mutants of the X-Men and Excalibur on numerous occasions. Although Mad Jim might not have the star power of Thanos or Mephisto, he is widely considered to be amongst the most powerful figures in the entire Marvel mythos, rivaling some of the most famous cosmic characters characters in terms of his ability. He was able to take over the entire United Kingdom, although okay, I guess that maybe isn't one of the most difficult things a supervillain could actually do, and his powers actually stretch between entire realities, with Jaspers even capable of tearing a given reality apart should he indulge too heavily. 
Number 6. Dark Beast X-Men fans will be the first to tell you how even the main good Earth-616 Beast has regressed into a bit of an ass over the last few decades, so you can imagine just how much of a rotten piece of work Dark Beast is by contrast. Whereas the Henry McCoy we know and used to love boasts bright blue fur and a penchant for the dramatic, the Beast of Earth-295 is a straight-up monster. Hailing from the Age of Apocalypse reality, Dark Beast was able to make the jump across the main Marvel Universe and has continued to be a threat ever since, making Mr. Sinister look positively quaint, at least in mad scientist terms, by comparison. Dark Beast was bad enough during the Age of Apocalypse, where he delighted in torturing and experimenting on his fellow mutants for N. Sabaneur, but he found renewal in the mainstream Marvel timeline. He once even kidnapped the main Beast, painted his own fur blue, and impersonated him in order to infiltrate the X-Men. The one constant with Dark Beast, though, is that he delights in torture. He embodies even evil science from top to bottom, but presented with a familiar face. That's genuinely unnerving, no matter which way you cut it. Number 5. Barracuda if there was an award for hero with the most twisted adversaries in the Marvel Universe, Punisher would probably take the cake. Frank Castle's comics are among the darkest in Marvel's library, and given the heavy subject matter of much of them, it was always going to be the case he'd end up going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the worst the Marvel Universe has to offer. There are the usual suspects, of course, like Jigsaw and William Rawlins, but among the worst of the worst is Barracuda, a former soldier turned mercenary turned gangster who Castle knew back during his army days in Vietnam. Another character to make their big breakout during Garth Ennis' revered run on Punisher Max, Barracuda immediately distinguished himself from Castle's other foes by illustrating just how much he reveled in inflicting pain and misery on his victims. He was also a product of the American military, later becoming a CIA asset and helping set up a number of brutal regimes in South America, massacring civilians in the process. After his army days, Barracuda became a feared crime boss known for his extreme antics, like snorting coke off his victims' corpses. No, seriously. He later murdered one of Castle's old SAS buddies along with his family, taking their rivalry from just strictly Punisher business to something altogether more brutal and personal. Number 4. Bushwhacker Bushwhacker might seem fairly unremarkable as far as Marvel villains go. He is yet another mercenary who tends to fight with street-level heroes like Daredevil, Moon Knight, and Punisher, but the difference this time around is that he can literally morph his own body into an assortment of firearms, which in itself ends up creating all sorts of gruesome imagery. This might just be a me thing, but there is something incredibly unnerving about seeing a dude's arm transform into a literal skin gun thing. Bushwhacker, like Barracuda, was another product of the CIA, who thought it was a great idea to turn yet another recruit into a literal living weapon. He eventually left the agency and set his sights against mutants and then Daredevil, using his part plastic body to create all kinds of weapons to take down his opponents. Number 3. The Skinless Man the skinless man, real name Harry Pizer, was a UK barrister and spy who targeted the Soviet Union during the Cold War. He was also a mutant, possessing special elasticy skin that was eventually ripped straight off his body as punishment for crimes committed in the wake of his involvement in the Weapon Plus program. Pizer is a bit like DC's Jane Doe, only he's a mutant and it's not just his face that's missing. His rivalry with former X-Force member Phantom X also led to gruesome results, with Pizer flaying Phantom X's skin right off his face in revenge for his own initial skin-related mishap. The lesson here? Skinless supervillains are very creepy. Number 2. Scarecrow Marvel and DC have never been strangers to the odd ripoff, but don't mistake the House of Ideas as Scarecrow for an ersatz version of Batman's formidable adversary, at least in his current form. Initially introduced in 1964's Tale of Suspense number 51, Ebenezer Lawton started out as a circus performer skilled in contortion. He eventually witnessed Iron Man apprehend the villain and decided that he could use his own skills for a life of crime, which is when he became the supervillain known as the Scarecrow. So far, so normal. However, years of suffering defeat at the hands of Marvel's heroes turned Scarecrow into a terrifying serial killer, which eventually led him into the path of Ghost Rider. After dying in a battle with the Spirit of Vengeance, Scarecrow was given and demonic powers and was eventually resurrected by Blackheart himself. As far as creepiness goes though, Scarecrow offers the complete package. He has a terrifying look, a demonic backstory, and a frightening array of powers that he can use to strike terror into his victims.
And number one, Shadow King. The Shadow King is by far the most notorious villain on this list, but given his appearances outside of comics have been limited to just a few TV shows, it still stands to reason that quite a few are yet to encounter the character. Which is also probably a good thing, as far as their nightmares are concerned. In short, the Shadow King is so evil, he's the character that convinced Charles Xavier to found the X-Men. He was the first mutant he'd ever encountered, a powerful telepath much like himself, who did all the horrible things a telepath could if they ever put their mind to it, controlling people, dominating their minds, and exploiting them for his own benefit. Following this encounter, it was later revealed that the Shadow King was actually an ancient demonic entity that had bonded with a mutant host. The entity spans across the entire Marvel multiverse, recruiting telepaths paths in order to feed off their energy, until eventually they become one with him. And if that wasn't bad enough, Shadow King is essentially immortal. The X-Men may be able to defeat him when he adopts a physical host, but it's only a matter of time until he returns to terrorize them once again. And those were just 10 of the most messed up Marvel villains you probably didn't know about. Share more of them down in the comments below, and also be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I've been Ewan, and I will hopefully see you next time. Bye!